Miss Waterloo in bed. This is Miss Waterloo in bed. Mrs. Waterloo is kissing her good night and saying, God bless you and keep you, my darling, darlingest, my sweetheart, my little baby one. Miss Waterloo gives a little faraway smile. She is thinking, I know a funny thing to think when I am alone. Mrs. Waterloo is looking at her as if she could never stop looking and saying, Thank you and thank you, God, for giving me my darling, darlingest. You do understand, don't you, that it doesn't matter what happens to me, but oh, don't let anything terrible happen to her. Miss Waterloo is thinking, I shall pretend I am as big as the moon and nobody can catch me and so big. Isn't that funny? Good night, beloved. Sleep well, my darling, darlingest. Miss Waterloo is remembering something, something very beautiful. But it all happened so long ago that she has forgotten the beginning of it before she remembers the end. Oh, my lovely, when you look like that, you make me want to cry. What are you thinking of, darling us? Miss Waterloo won't tell. Yet, perhaps, for a moment, Mrs. Waterloo has been there, too. God bless you, my lovely, she says, and puts out the light. Miss Waterloo is alone. Miss Waterloo at this time was one. It is a tremendous age to be, and often she would lie on her back and laugh to think of all the babies who were none. When she was six months old, Mr. Waterloo, who was a poet, wrote some verses about her, and he slipped them proudly into Mrs. Waterloo's hand one evening. Owing to a misunderstanding, they were used to witch the nursery window, which rattled at night. And though they witched very delightfully for some time, Mr. Waterloo couldn't help feeling a little disappointed. Mrs. Waterloo was, of course, as sorry as she could be when she understood what had happened. But it was then too late. As Mr. Waterloo said, Once you have bent a piece of poetry, it is never quite the same again. Fortunately, for all of us, two lines at the end, thrown off so as to make the wedge the right thickness, have survived. They go like this. She never walks, and she never speaks, and we have had her for weeks and weeks and weeks. Now, the truth was that, Miss Waterloo could speak if she wanted to, but she had decided to wait until she was quarter past one. The reason was that she had such lovely things to remember, if only she could remember them. You can talk and think. For a year and a quarter, she would just lie on her back and remember, and then when she had it all quite clear in her mind she would tell them all about it but nobody can speak without practice so every night as soon as she was alone she practiced she practiced now Teddy, she called down on the floor at the foot of her bed teddy bear whose head was nodding on his chest woke up with a start what is it he grumbled are you asleep Teddy, I are and I aren't, said Teddy. I fought, I wore and I weren't, said Miss Waterloo. Well, well, what is it? What's a word for a lovely, a lovely, you know what I mean? And all of a sudden, only you don't, because what is the word, Teddy? Condensed milk said Teddy. I don't think it is, said Miss Waterloo. As near as you can get nowadays. 
Miss Waterloo sighed. She never seemed to get very near. Perhaps I shall never tell them. Perhaps they don't have the word. Perhaps they don't, said Teddy. It is a funny thing about them, he went on, waking up slightly. What a few words they have got. Take condensed milk as an example. It does, but it isn't, really. If you see what I mean, that is why I never talk to him now. They don't get any richness into their words. They don't get any what I call flavor. There is no bite. I want a word. Better go to sleep, said Teddy, his head nodding suddenly again. Shan't I ever be able to tell them? asked Miss Waterloo wistfully. Never, said Teddy sleepily. They have got the wrong words. Miss Waterloo lay there, wrapped in drowsy and enchanted memories of that golden land, to which she could never quite return. She would tell them all about it some day, but not now, not now, not now. She gave a little sigh and was asleep.